Hey everyone, I hope you're having a really good evening. I'm Lisa, thanks for coming to my channel. I am doing my first semi unboxing today. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was a full complete unboxing, but this special item was new to me. I bought it about a year ago and I unboxed it just a few days ago and then decided to make a video about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and show you um, my one um, like most sought after bags. And every time I went to go and get this purse, it was always, always sold out. I don't know if it was because of COVID or if it was just really popular for a while, um, but, and, and it's also known as the most basic purse you could have from Louis Vuitton, which half of me agrees and the other half of me doesn't see it that way. So I'm very split. It depends on my mood for the day. So I just wanted to go through and show you guys my new purse. Um, I'm really excited to use it. I did open it up and I want you to know that um, if you see a, a little bit of a mess going on here, you are invited to be along with me for the ride to clean this room out. I had a room that was half office room because I did run, I do have a small business. I'm an esthetician licensed in the state of Arizona and I do have a business um, that I, you know, need an office for. And so I had an office mixed with my closet room and it just didn't work. Um, it took me a couple of years to figure that out, but finally it clicked. So I kind of had to redo everything. So if you look over here and you see my drawers looking uh, a mess and a little disarray, they're not going to be that way for long, but um, that's a story for another uh, video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my new treat. Um, what I have here is this guy here. Now keep in mind I have um, I have a business and in my head a business that requires toting things around a lot. So I always have to carry supplies and I have to carry um, into my esthetician business, supplies that are usually boxed and safe, they're not gonna spill everywhere, uh, but I also will carry food and snacks and just things you need when you have a business and you're just busy and don't have a lot of time. You kind of need everything in one place and that's what I've done with this bag. So it's gonna be basic, but in a good way. So I think you guys already know what it is. Um, I did unbox it right over here. I have, um, I'll set this aside for just a moment and I will show you guys I will show you guys. Um, this is the box that it came in. And um, when I opened it up, it was laying flat in the bag that is there. I'm going to disappear for a minute. And in there is a nice clean box. And um, it does have the ribbon for it. I like to use these. I'm a planner um, freak. So I love to use these to make planner tags. Uh, for my planner, so I can always show you guys something about that another time. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring this baby out. And this is the, let's open this up here and see what we've got. I think you guys already know, just the word basic says it all. So this is, what do you think this is? The Neverfull. And this was my first Neverfull. I've been buying Louis Vuitton bags for 20 plus years. And I really can't believe I waited this long to get this bag. And one of um, the nice things about this bag is that inside it's got the peony color. So I'm gonna hold this open for you guys to see. Um, it's got the peony color, this is unused. What I did was I unwrapped it and I opened it up just to air it out um, to kind of get the preset wrinkles out of it. Um, there were creases and I know it's going to become a really, uh, you know, I don't want to say beat up bag, but it's going to get used a lot. And I'm pretty rough on my, on my purses in a, in a good way. I use them. They, they look used. They look loved. Um, I don't beat them to death, but they definitely are going to get used by me. And, um, and they still look beautiful after all the use, but here it is here. This is the GM. They have three sizes three sizes. Um, this is the GM. It's the largest bag. It's 15.7 inches by 13 inches, which is really nice. And then 7.9 inches thickness and in width. So it's a wonderful bag. We'll carry a lot to other sizes or the middle size bag, which is um, the MM, which is like, think of it like medium. 
M for medium, G for grande, which is large, and then the P for like petite. It's a smaller version of this bag. So I just wanted to share this with you. I didn't get to do a true unboxing in this box, but I did open that up. If you go to my Instagram video, you will see um, a quick reel of that opening up um, video, but it's not a complete video. And then here are the sides. This leather is all Vachetta leather all the way around here. And I have some special handles that I can show you guys. I bought them on Etsy um, and I will make a video of how I go into the bag and start to kind of process it, put things in, you know, for my day-to-day -day use. But this is all Vachetta here. I wanted to show you guys if you're interested in looking at what the GM looks like. And then we've got our beautiful um, hardware here. And on the outer layer here, there is an imprint of Louis Vuitton. And then here is the other side. Same thing on this side, it's a duplicate of the hardware. So you can see how this looks here. And then our little imprint right on there as well. And then I wanna show you inside, we have the small pochette that comes with this and you can lock this in to the bag or you can separate this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and as everyone knows you can use it as its own little tiny um, to-go bag. You can make a little um, lasso with this here and then you have a handle and it clips right into this little second hardware piece as you can see. So you can do that. This right here is um, something that I was just so excited to have. I just, I love the color. I love that brightness. I have some Louis Vuitton bags that have the neutral colors inside and I, I think I just kind of got bored with it. You know, I wanted something with a little bit of a pop and something I can use during summer. And even in the winter, it just it looks, you could make this Christmassy. You could decorate it and make it look really um, Christmassy. So there's my tags. Um, I, I actually should have checked to see if the prices have gone up, but this might have been right when there was a price um, hike. Um, I don't have the price on here, um, but I can go ahead and list it in there as soon as I um, double check my receipt. But this right here is really cute. There's a little, kind of a little leaf right on there, and it's got a little bit of stitching, but I just think that everything about Louis Vuitton is so classic. It's simple, it, it can be basic, um, basic's not bad though, right? Um, basic's gonna keep my receipts together for me and it's gonna keep my lunch in here and it's gonna keep everything from falling apart in my car. So I'll take basic sometimes, it's okay. Um, one thing about this bag, really quick, I wanna tell you is that uh, I thought for a moment that I had a fake bag. I have an SA, a sales associate at Louis Vuitton in Scottsdale, Arizona, and she's amazing. And she literally might have told me that there's a chip inside of this. So these bags used to have a date code tag on the inside lining right in here or right on the outer edge here. And it was in the stitching here, a tag would stick out. And on that tag would be a special code that would tell you uh, where the bag was made, what date it was made, just kind of like regionize it for you so that you know where, where your bag is from and what date it was and kind of help with authentication. And you know, people can find a way to cheat any system. So that's a system I think a lot of people were, um, I heard cutting out and slicing out tags from a real bag, authentic bags, and then stitching them back into a fake. So I got my bag, I started to unwrap it, I started to unbox it for an Instagram video and reel, and when I did that, I was going in to look for where to authenticate it, just to look, I, I like, I wanted to see that. And on this area here, I was told it, it might've moved to this spot right here for um, a tag. So I started looking here, I started looking underneath the, um, the large pouch that is here, and I didn't find it and I was so worried. I was so worried and I was just having one of those days where you feel like if something could go wrong, this would be when it would. 
So I want you to know that I found out there's a chip in this. There's chips. And um, you can actually go on your phone and download um, an app that has a chip reader and you scan around your purse and you'll find it. And I did download it and I did find it. Um, and so I will show you a video of that going on so that you can see it in action. Um, but this bag is amazing. Um, it's super popular. You can still see a little crease from how it was folded. Um, but I love this bag. I, I really do. I've always wanted one. I'm a tote person. Um, I'm like 80% tote. And so I've been since I was a teenager. The bigger the bag, the more stuff I could fit. I always think I'm going to need everything. Um, and usually I don't, but I like to have it around just in case. I live in Arizona, so water bottles are really important. Uh, and so this is a bag that can hold a water bottle. So I just want to show you there's canvas, treated canvas, and I've been told that it's all one piece. So um, when it wraps around this outer section, it's all one piece. And so one of the things you can look for in this stitching is the alignment to be correct. Um, to kind of help you authenticate a bag, you'll see how this is equal distance to this guy right here. And then this right here is going to be equal distance to this, like this one. And then the LV is in the center. And then um, our flowers are on the outer edge. So our canvas that is treated and can handle a lot, our edges that are there that you can tighten and make the bag smaller or leave them loose and nice and wide for whatever you need. The bottom of the bag, I'll show you that right here. The bottom of the bag is one solid piece. There are no feet on the bottom. I, I don't care. I mean, I understand how feet can help. Um, I know that feet, it feels like feet on the base of a purse can help with things, but you know, I've seen so many people with this bag have one of these for 10 plus years, 15 years, and they don't have feet and they make it through airports and travel and around the world 10 times. And um, I guess this bag really isn't gonna need anything like that. Um, but one thing that I do know I ordered off of Etsy are two leather covers of treated um, leather to go right on the top here. And that way when you're holding it, uh, you don't get a lot of lotion or sweat or you know anything, anything extra product wise that you don't want lotion. Um, on these areas and I'll show you the handles they're pretty sturdy and what I've heard and I could be wrong but what I've heard but what I've heard is that these um, straps can hold 200 pounds in this bag 200 pounds in this beauty so I don't know if I'm gonna put it to the test or not but um, one nice thing that you can do with this is if you're not in the mood to carry a lot but you got your main items in here. I'm a planner girl. So for me, I want something I can stick my planner in. You can tighten this up here and you can make cinch this bag in and you can make this both sides more of a square tote. You can go as tight as you want and pinch it in or you can leave it out and loose. So it's really up to you. And um, one of these days I'll do like a planner video where I have some of my um, different agendas from Louis Vuitton and then kind of show how those fit in here. But anyway, this is my bag. I guess I'm officially basic and I'm loving it. Um, again, thanks for joining me. Um, this purse is amazing. Knowing how strong it is, knowing, um, you know, that the value of this bag is, even if it is considered uh, main staple and basic. Um, you know, there was a time when I could afford this bag. There was a time in life when having something like this was just a dream. And I'm just really grateful that I was able to save up and get this, this purse. And I know I'm really going to use it um, quite a bit. My other goal is to get um, the lighter color bag so that I can uh, have something for spring. Just for spring, just to have a change of color. Um, when I buy these bags, I don't tend to sell them. I do sell sometimes, um, but often I really want to keep these for function. There's a purpose, and um, I'm I'm a plus size girl. So for me, I know this bag is gonna is gonna look good with me. It won't look too small. It's gonna function. I'm gonna have everything I need inside of it. 
Um, it's strong and, and heavy enough to take anywhere and everywhere. Um, it serves different purposes. And I've seen these bags go through a lot and really make it through the other side 20 years later, 15 years later. So um, anyhow, here it is. When I get uh, another video um, put together, I'll show you guys how I kind of assembled the purse. Um, I'm gonna put a liner inside of the bag and I'm gonna do some research on ways to decorate the bag and protect it so that I can really um, put some good use into it and feel like some of the bases are covered so that the leather doesn't get too patined too fast. You know, it's beautiful. And um, I'm just thankful I was able to get this. So thanks for joining me for this. Um, next time will be a full unboxing and we'll unbox together um, another goodie that I have in mind to get just showing you the edges again. And then um, what I will do is I will, I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna stand up. I'm kind of in um, a lounge outfit here. So I'm gonna see, I'm five, five. So I'm gonna put my cover over and um, maybe I can do this just like this without having to stand up all the way because I don't wanna miss uh, the shot. So hopefully this will help. And I will kind of show you guys right here. There we go. There we go. Whoop. I get my pants up. So you can see it's perfect. It will hold everything perfect. All right. I'll be able to do some more like mod shots once I get this room organized better. And then I can really show you kind of how the bag is being styled, but there you go. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, have a wonderful week and um, please subscribe and go ahead and follow um, on my Instagram pages if you could. And then like this video if you would like me to show you some more um, Louis Vuitton goods and go over some of the older bags maybe that I've had for a while. All right, thank you. Have a great night.